A cold case mystery in Mid-County tonight has a family pleading for help. 53-year-old Deborah Killian left her Nederland home following an argument about two years ago. Her husband reported her missing three days later, but the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says it has zero leads. William Blanchett on the case tonight. Deborah Killian's husband has no idea where she went. He missed their marriage was troubled. From time to time she'd leave, but he never dreamed she'd leave for good. Gone without a trace, 53-year-old Deborah Killian was last seen on July 21st, 2017 at this Nederland home off of California Street. I would be happy to know where she's at because I am worried that something's happened to her. Deborah's husband, Alan, still flips through her photo albums. Not a day goes by when he doesn't think about where his wife could be. I hope she hadn't had nothing happened to her. Deborah grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. In the mid-70s, she moved to Nederland with her mother and stepfather. Alan says they met at a Holiday Inn in Port Arthur when Deborah worked as a night auditor. In 1982, they got married and moved into their home. Alan says on her time off, she would spend time volunteering around the community. Always trying to help somebody. She went and she worked with the homeless people over there for a number of days. But Deborah had another side. He says she struggled with bipolar depression. Alan says her mental illness worsened as their marriage went on. Probably got bad about six years ago. Just one day, you know, you go up to her and you give her a hug and you go, what are you doing? <laughs> I was hugging you. She would go through periods, you know, she would, like I said, bipolar, she would be really down a lot and then she would be real up. In essence, right now, she's just vanished. Captain Crystal Holmes at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says due to Deborah's mental health battle, it wasn't abnormal for her to frequently leave her house, sometimes for days. That was of grave concern because we didn't know if at the time she was in a right state of mind to even know where she was going. Detectives followed up, uh, canvassed the area where she was last seen, spoke to people that she was known to associate with, and no one had seen her. Allen says an argument over money led to her disappearance that afternoon of July 21st, 2017. My mother had died and she left me money. And she left her money as long as she was with me. But she didn't leave her money. She wanted to take it and go. And uh, I told her, I'm, I'm not going to give you any money. When Alan returned to the home after clearing his mind, he says Deborah was nowhere to be found. She told me, right before, you know, standing out there one, that same day, she told me that she still loved me. But uh, I don't know. There had been an argument at home, as families sometimes do. Captain Holmes says it's not uncommon for family members to leave and never return. In this case, Captain Holmes believes Deborah might not want to be found. Most of the people that knew her knew me. Alan says he's looked everywhere, and all he can do now is pray for Deborah's well-being. You know, I miss her, you know, of course. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says Deborah Killian was last seen wearing a t-shirt and jeans. She has blonde hair, green eyes, and is about four feet nine inches tall. They say if anyone has any information regarding her location, is asked to call the Sheriff's Office. In the studio, William Blanchett, 12 News.